Attitude is so important. I can't even stress it, stress it enough. Your attitude to life is almost like your mindset, really. It, 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 um, it's very linked with your mindset. Your attitude and how you look at things really have an impact on how you experience life. I'll give you an example. There were some bricklayers, right? They were laying bricks. Basically, that's what they were doing every day, laying bricks. So, you know, one of the bricklayers, he, would, he looked very bored, tired. And somebody asked him, what are you doing? He said, oh, I'm, I'm laying bricks. But there was another bricklayer that was very, very energized, very enthusiastic, happy. He was doing it, with, doing it with so much joy and everything. And somebody asked him, what are you doing? He was doing exactly the same job. And he said, oh, I'm building the biggest cathedral in the city. Do you see the difference? That's attitude. For the first one, all I'm doing is laying blocks. There's no meaning, nothing. It just, you know, he couldn't see a higher purpose around it. He couldn't see a bigger vision around it. He couldn't see the end goal. He was just limited to that task. And so he was bored. Like, you know, what's exciting about laying bricks in his own mind? But the other one could see beyond. Like, I'm contributing. I'm a part of something big. I may be a small part. But I'm an important part. I'm a part of something big. And that transformed his experience. So he could go to work energized because he had a sense of purpose. Somebody like that would take an interest in the design of the cathedral, right? Because he wants to see this big thing we're building. So he's likely to take a, an interest in the design. He's likely to be more excited when he sees the other parts coming up, right? He's likely to be the person that will be ready if there's an opportunity for a higher job. He is likely to be more ready because he'll probably be more informed because he took more of an interest. If I'm interviewing for a job, right, like I'm, I'm interviewing people for a job and I have two candidates, one of them with all the experience I need, right, but the wrong attitude, and the second person, not as much experience but can learn and has the right attitude. I kid you not, if I have to make a choice between the two, I'll go for the second person. Because there's no point having all the knowledge if people cannot work with you. If you have the wrong attitude, it's the person with the right attitude that would go the extra mile, that would want to think about how to get this done. Now, some people have an attitude that life owes me something. Life owes you nothing. Maybe not life. Some people have the attitude that somebody else owes me something. My father owes me something. My mother owes me something. My senior sister or my senior brother, they owe me something. My friends owe me something. OK, so here's the thing. Nobody owes you anything. If you can actually get to that mindset, that headspace, it will make a lot of things easier for you. Because when things come to you, when people do things for you, it's a bonus. Life is great. And when that's not the case, you are not, you are not down and feeling betrayed and disappointed and everything. You find a way to make things work. If when you have that attitude, that's when you look, you look for, you actually take responsibility for finding the answers. Let's not live life like people owe us things. You be the one that does for others. It's okay. That means you have more to give. You have so much inside you that it overflows. And the truth is, when you, open, when you are able to give, it's a big statement that you, can, you have the capacity to take more. And so more gifts, more blessings, more talent, everything, it flows through you. That's how it works.